I focus on Colorado's Supreme Court's ruling on uh, the matter of Donald Trump's disqualification. That's a big deal that the Supreme Court of one of the states of our union has disqualified Donald Trump for engaging in insurrection and therefore violating Section 3 of the 14th Amendment. That's a big deal. And on February 8th, the Supreme Court is going to hear oral arguments on that. And from what I have read, the Supreme Court has taken the most broad uh, uh, question to be answered of whether, whether Colorado Supreme Court erred in holding that Donald Trump is disqualified under Section 3 of the 14th Amendment. I believe that if uh, the Supreme Court maintains uh, its majority's inclinations to be textualist and originalist, textualist meaning read the text of the Constitution and originalist meaning read the text of the Constitution as it would be applied as intended by the founders who wrote it, on both those counts, the Application of Section 3 of the 14th Amendment is completely and accurately the proper thing to do. And absent congressional legislation on candidate qualifications, states can uh, legislate laws that give its citizens the right and authority to challenge people on the basis of constitutional disqualifications. And that's what happened in Colorado. We are 50 sovereigns into one union. Every state gets the right to choose how to elect these people. And because in this case, Congress has not legislated, states and state legislators have the power and state courts have the authority to interpret the state laws and say whether or not they have the power. And Colorado here has said, yes, Colorado has that power. Colorado citizens have that power. And Colorado Supreme Court has said, yes, we are disqualifying Donald Trump. So a textualist and an originalist and a state's power Supreme Court majority that we have now would be completely hypocritical and would throw their entire life's work ideology out of the window if they were to completely snatch from Colorado Colorado's right to determine who gets to be on the ballot takes away from Colorado, uh, uh, you know, this idea that that's enshrined in Article One about the states having the right to legislate elections and electors and in the 12th Amendment. And uh, it shatters all states' rights arguments. And it would be, it would shatter their core belief systems of originalism and textualism to say that Colorado's opinion has no weight and is completely wrong. There could be a fracturing impact of SCOTUS's opinion if it rules that uh, Colorado's ruling stands just as Colorado's ruling stands. It doesn't apply to all the other states. And all the other states get to do their absent con congressional legislation, do what they do in their um, elections. And that is governed by state elections and state courts deal with that. That would have, uh, that wouldn't be unifying, but that would keep alive the, the specter of disqualification for Donald Trump. It might have some retaliatory uh, impact of some of the other state um, red states making it political and saying, oh, we're going to keep Joe Biden of the ballot as well for this, 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 and this. But mind you, whatever they try, it's not going to be because of a constitutional disqualification, as is Section 3 of the 14th Amendment. So uh, with all that said, thank you for being here.